Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am starting getting my microblading done. I have not done microblading. These are my eyebrows currently. I am uh, I'm here at Cara Cosmetics. I will leave her details down below. This is the first time me, me being here. I was introduced to her by a friend, so we don't know what we're gonna get but I've seen her work and it's really really nice so I'm very very excited you guys know how much I love something a little bit natural so that's what we were gonna go for this is my eyebrows currently I mean right now I've got I've drawn them on but I'll take them off and I'll show you guys the before and after but I'm very very excited because the view is also really really nice it is so zen in here this is what I'm looking at the place is in Bethnal Green and this is the view you're going to be getting whilst getting your eyebrows done. This is the before. I want to just like adjust this as well because this is too thick I think. It's all going to be like little hair strokes. So we're going to start from like here yeah. and then basically just like drawing up and following your natural hair flow. Okay. I know you like that kind of brushed up look so yeah. we can keep the hair sort of like going up and in that direction and then basically just following the tail that way. Yeah, I agree. This is the after. We've just finished. Um, we're gonna put a bow on. And you're just gonna go like backwards into the hair. Okay. And then you can wipe over it as well. We can fix the hairs. Hi guys. It has been a long day. I have not caught up with you guys since yesterday when I got my brows done. This is how they're kind of looking this morning. I freaking love them and oh, the sun feels so good. I am so tired. I've just done my shop for tonight's dinner this morning it was freaking raining and right now it's sunny it's like the weather is so bipolar i cannot deal but i managed to get the most stunning like outfits and shoot today i'm just so happy i'm so excited anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna head home because i know i'm gonna get stuck in traffic by the way these sunnies are from my previous vlog and these earrings are mango i will find them and i'll link them down below and this top i cannot show you how it looks like without being nude but this is new from h&m and i'm wearing because of alice um long trench coat i will find a picture and i will show you guys what i'm wearing because i swear to you this is my favorite outfit i've ever put together i absolutely love this and also this morning it was so quick for me to do my makeup because my eyebrows we're done and I'm loving them, but more on that when I get home because I need to tell you guys how I got on yesterday. I needed that coffee. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm back at home. Um, this is the top I was talking about. This is from H&M really really love this it has like this tie at the top um and then it's a button down so you can take it down if you want to but i kind of like how it looks like right and then i'm wearing it with these leather pants i need to do the eyebrows so coming a bit close for you guys to see by the way if i'm looking this side yes it's because my viewfinder is there and i hate doing that but i'm sorry i can't help it but i just need to see what i'm showing you guys but this is the eyebrows I'm gonna come close for you guys the problem with my big camera is that i can't zoom in so i have to literally like come this close to the camera and i really love it so this morning i didn't have to do my eyebrows which was so good I love that she gave me this care package. So this came in here. These are just wipes. I am just going to apply some of this balm onto my eyebrows. You're basically meant to take out the balm. I put some this morning when I was getting ready. So I've put nothing on my eyebrows. To be honest, you're not meant to put anything on your eyebrows. They're kind of already done. So you don't really need to like mess up with anything by putting makeup on or putting any makeup near the 
brows. By the way, no one tells you this, but it was painful. It was painful. If you're someone that hates blood or hates being cut, or you have a really low, low or high, I'm not sure what the opposite is. If you have a high pain threshold, then maybe you might live with it. But I did not know that it was gonna be this painful. She started by, she did warn me about it. And I was like, okay, surely it's not that painful. So there's me like talking, you know, I'm just like talking through, like just trying to ignore that something is about to happen to my face. And she started and I was so quiet, you would think like something happened. The pain, I couldn't deal with. I'm sorry, I could not deal with. And I don't know why people don't talk about this. It was painful. I know beauty is pain, but like no one tells you about it. No one prepares you for the pain. I've had like lip fillers are, um, are hurtful, but this was hurtful. I don't really get lip fillers, so I don't really know the feeling, but like I just can't imagine like such a procedure, procedure, would you say it's a procedure? Um, a beauty thing to be painful. And right now I feel like it feels the same as basically getting your ears pissed, but worse because you can, you can feel someone basically ripping at your skin because you can hear the, the, is it the needle? Like going, like, it's like someone is scratching you, but it's painful. Like, yeah, she, when she started, she basically advised that it's better not to do, um, like the fast kind of go with, with the anesthesia, um, to basically get the ink to penetrate into your brows at the beginning. And then the second time round, she was basically going in, filling everything in. She basically then put the anesthesia, but even that, <laughs> It was a little bit less painful, but what's worse is that you can hear all the lines being created. It <sighs> So just FYI, if you're wondering about doing microblading, just so that you're prepared, it does hurt. If you have a high pain threshold, then you will be fine. But if you don't, then yeah, it, it hurts. But it's worth it because guys look at my brows I really love them I really really love them and she listened to me and I just I'm so happy I'm so happy with them this is how it looks like obviously this is where I put my makeup on I look a little bit crazy it's a good thing that I have no plans today but yeah I have just finished filming this makeup look. I have used all Charlotte Tilbury products. I just wanted to try like some new products and I really love it. I wanted to try their concealer and foundation but I got them in the wrong size, literally like 10 shades lighter. I don't know whether I put the right shade when I was ordering, you know like when it's all under the same kind of listing and then you need to pick your color. I don't think I picked my color but either way, I ended up using the um, Too Faced concealer and then everything else is Charlotte Tilbury guys. I am in love with this look It's giving bronze and I also went in with this lippy. This is their new plumping lip Gasm, I really really love it It is very plumping and I also love the color of it. Anyways, I am meant to be running to an event Um, it's a Tala event. I need to actually change right now i'm just wearing this black top this one is from sundays if you are looking for a really lovely bodysuit this is the one i also love the cuffs but let me change into my basically gym gear and i'll show you guys how it looks this is my outfit i got this in a size extra small the bottoms in a size small and then this zip up in a size small this is the material close up it looks ribbed, but this will sit flush on the body. This is them on. I really love this color, but I feel like this is just so exposing. I feel like it would have done with just it being 
a little bit like closer i feel like this is just so exposed this is how it looks like with the zip up top i definitely think you need a zip up top if you're wearing this because this is just so low i am definitely gonna be covering up but yeah i actually think like this it looks really really nice and cute by the way the material is so stretchy i really really love this i love how stretchy this is so got the cuff detailing going on here i'm back at home you know how early i was talking about this not fitting well we actually ended up adjusting it oh my back looks nice <laughs> but they basically adjusted the back there's like a hook when you get this top you can basically adjust it so it becomes like a halter top i was obviously skeptical about it it is still giving a lot of boobage but right now it's a lot more minimal like my nipples are here and this is kind of like the scoop it's meant to be like a really scooped neck i've just received this beautiful package from katie luxton and we're gonna open it together I always love this personalization. I basically selected this. I wanted this personalization because I, I just think they look really nice. I love Katie Lux and bags, especially for traveling and really love this makeup bag. The makeup bag basically opens up like this, hence why I like it. And then they have these compartments and on this side as well and i just love it because you can basically put your makeup and then open it up and have it's kind of like a flat lay but a case i also picked up this case with sunnies i was looking for like a nice khaki color sunnies and i really really love these ones this are just so cute i love the color and i also love the gold detailing on this side I decided today to tie my hair. I really love this. I was gonna push this forward a little, but it's not working. I think this is cute. I have some things that we're going to unbox. I got this from Commando and I just received this yesterday. They also added a bottle in there and I did end up drinking it last night, but I got this lovely package from River Island and nap and co i don't think i've shown you guys this i think if you watched my previous vlog you would have seen me wearing one of the nap and co sets which i'll put there and they were so comfortable and they still are very comfortable i've been wearing them ever since they're in the wash at, at the moment i don't know how they will react after the wash but i will let you guys know i also got this lovely set I picked up this set this is so cute it is this sateen material and these mini shorts I have not tried them on I will try them on after for you guys but overall I really love this sateen material it feels very soft and I also love this color I think this color is like the bit like the perfect color for spring i also got this crop top it's kind of like a bra i have one from skims but i was gravitating towards this because i love the strap of this and i also love that it's adjustable the one i have from um skims is very tight on me so i wanted a new one i have just checked the size of this and it's in the size medium and a bit skeptical because i think i selected it in a size extra small and i think I just got sent this i wanted to show you guys the blazer that i was talking about so this blazer is from john lewis i got this in a size eight and if you guys can see like it has a shoulder pad it's quite thick so it does give you a bit of structure when you wear it which is why i really love this really love the fit of the trousers i was actually quite surprised with how this fits and i just really love it like you guys can see the shape it has this kind of like a-line shape which is the kind of shape i always gravitate towards um, especially when i'm shopping for trousers because i'm small at the top and then i'm big at the bottom so i always need something that's a-line that basically can fit everything perfectly I just love the pleat detailing because i feel like that's what gives it 
room for me to basically fit inside which is something I love I love a lot <laughs> I actually don't know what's in here but let's open oh I love this oh I love this these are two glasses two set of wine glasses love oh my god okay i love this future pink skirt why am i whispering it has like the frill at the bottom i feel like i need to style it for you guys to see how it will actually look like it's actually not a skirt it is a bardo dress i love this i got this in a size eight love feel like fuchsia pink is back in trend this summer so if you love that color it is your season i also got this oh my god i love this this satin wide leg trousers they are so cute i got this in a size 10 just because nothing ever like with satin pants they never quite go up my leg unless i size up so i size up to a size 10 usually i'm a size 8 i'm gonna try it i feel like it will fit because you can tell like with the waist it's a little bit tighter and i feel like it doesn't give you that room on the side do you guys see what i meant by the a line hence why i sized up because so that it amounts for my behind for it to fit basically i also got a matching top i love this oh my god i love this so much it has this detailing at the cuff it basically is the same as the trousers it has this detailing at the cuff instead i love this i got this in a size eight i wanted it a little bit oversized usually i'm a size six at the top and eight at the bottom but i sized up with this one just so that i can get that oversized fit and i can also wear these with shorts in the summer i was about to say i could pair it up with the napanko shorts but this is more pj than an everyday kind of short i have another bag i got this from commando and i love commando for all their basics so body suits if you guys have not gotten any of their pieces they're a little bit on the expensive side but they're worth it if you can get at least one bodysuit it will last you a lifetime and i love how they fit on the body i also go to them for their leather these were kindly gifted to me but i'm obviously going to show you guys i love this wine color i got in a size medium because i remember I went to their showroom and I tried some of their pieces on and I think I tried this in a size small and it was not going past my thighs so I think that's why I sized up to a size medium. I love this wine color. You guys know how much I love like leather leggings, leather pants so I had to get it in this color. I also got this leather mini skirt. So I always have issues with like anything like fitting me properly and I have tried different other leather skirts and they just don't fit like this. They do not fit like this. This feels this feels so soft like on the body and so seamless that I love it so so much. It also has shorts inside so when you wear it you're not conscious about it basically going up and exposing you which is one thing i loved about this and I'm, I'm so excited i finally have this now so i have this micro modal material trousers and i really wanted the legging version just because i love leggings i would probably actually wear it with the bodysuit that i'm wearing right now i have them in a flare i have styled them so many times i love them so much they fit so nice and also like just very soft like this modo material is is just it feels so soft it feels i i can't explain it you guys need to go and try it the reason why i love commando is is that they have basic pieces but they are really high in quality so 
when you buy the product you know that you're gonna have it for life and that's one thing I've been very vigilant in when I am spending and when I'm shopping is looking for items that are going to last me a long time and I know I always get a lot of um, stick for wearing things that are probably not available anymore but it's because i love keeping things that are really high in quality and i really like stand by that because i don't know i don't want to buy something that's not in quality and that i know i'm gonna throw away like the next day that's just like that's not me <laughs> I have a spring haul that I'm filming. I'll probably link it here because it'll probably be out by the time this is out. Yes, it'll probably be out by the time this is out. So be sure to check that out. I am going to talk more about other things that I have gotten. As you guys can see down there, I got more things, but I'm gonna speak speak on that more in the haul. So definitely check that out. I've just been working away today. I have changed into my evening dress. I'm going to a forever new event. I am wearing forever new. These earrings are so, so lush and also this dress from forever new i'll show you guys properly i've gone with the same makeup look i feel like this makeup has literally lasted me all day but it's looking fine um i was scared it was gonna be like a little bit shiny but we are good this is the bag i'm carrying with me this is also forever new and i'm going to pair my outfit with this blazer from R riona <laughs> We literally have to like go this far. show you guys my outfit <laughs> i am wearing this beautiful coat and i love this place the studio was downstairs i have just finished the boxing class it was so so intense you guys i am knackered i feel like i have been literally like stabbed or i don't know it was so freaking intense that is the studio right there it is called studio fix it was so intense it's currently 11 21 and i think i'm gonna go grab a coffee somewhere i am in kensington i love kensington there are so many like different places that you can go i'm actually looking at one right opposite i'll show you guys in a minute why am i getting shy talking in public um but yeah let me go find coffee <laughs> hi guys i am back at home the the boxing class was so intense you have no idea i would 110 percent recommend i feel like that was the best start to the day i wish it was a monday though today's sunday and i wish it was a monday because that that literally kicked my ass and if you guys haven't been to Studio Fix, you definitely need to go there. They invited me and I didn't know how intense it was going to be. But I'm actually glad I went because I've been looking um, at finding classes like that. And I just haven't like found the right one. My gym doesn't really do like very intense. Like last time I went to Pilates, Reformer Pilates in my, in my gym, it was full of old people and somewhat injured and i was just like i cannot deal with this but this was like i found my people so i'm definitely gonna book another one at some point and it would be nice to also do it like maybe once every week that would be really really nice to just like kick me into the week um i haven't caught up with you guys the past couple of days because i have just on friday i was filming I was gonna catch up with you guys but as i finished filming i literally i got up i think i got up at like eight and then i filmed until five um no i filmed until four i got a notification on my phone that my 
parcel has been delivered, so I ordered some things from Reese. Um, I run downstairs and someone actually stole my parcel. Um, I'm speaking with like the management of my building because this is not the first time that this has happened. But yeah, um, literally got stolen in a space of 20 minutes. Um, I didn't get like the ring on the door. Like the guy didn't even ring in to like let me know that he's here. I was literally in all day. I was so upset because I, I actually really wanted to just show you guys, show you guys a haul, show you guys what I got. And I just got so upset. I don't know why. Like I get it. It's material things. But you know when you're just like anticipating for something and then it just, yeah. I felt like my heart got ripped out. I was looking forward to actually like wearing the clothes i got these shoes and a dress from reese i'll show you guys what i got so so stunning and reese is not cheap reese is expensive so yeah i i was i cried i cried when i came back up so it wasn't a really nice evening for me and then yesterday i had my friend come over we kind of just chilled i made her lasagna we had some snacks, we were just catching up, I've not seen her for a while, my friend Amy. Um, so yeah, that was nice. And then afterwards, I had my friend's birthday, which I was arming and arming on whether to go or not. But I finally decided to go like around, I think it was like, around nine, I went to the wrong address. And then I ended up going, um, going, getting there. And then I, this happened, I locked my little finger on the taxi door and it went in half if you guys are squeamish don't like fast forward but i'll show you guys how it looks like it was terrible it was actually terrible um it was hurting me but my friends were really really nice about it and they just helped me like to put the plaster i actually need to go later and get some more plasters but yeah this is the situation but today i was very adamant that i'm gonna do the boxing class and i did it and it was it wasn't too bad it was only bad when i was like kind of doing like the burpees because it did like a mixture of like burpees a mixture of like cardio cardiovascular exercises and then you've got like the boxing which i really really loved anyways um it's sunday i'm going to be editing a vlog that needs to go up and I will basically close off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I think I have a spring haul coming. I have been getting a lot of messages from you guys. So a spring haul is coming very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.